Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. And I was going to be putting a video together about uh, a quick trip I had up into the Peak District on the Himalayan, the uh, scary fuel economy on the, the M1 to get up there. A few nice views, lovely roads, bits and pieces, lovely sunny day. But on the way back, something happened that really, as the critical drinker would put it, boiled my If you know it, this is the A444 heading down towards the weird double roundabout near Atherston. And uh, oh, there's a strange invalid carriage at the side of the road. So going a bit further, oh, there's somebody walking wearing a high vis. So I'll give it a quick spin round, go up and talk to the chap. His little invalid carriage has broken down and he's trying to walk home. He's got about another mile to go from here and he's using an invalid carriage. Well, is he not that? So he's obviously not that good on his pins. That's a fairly busy road. He's had a couple of bikers stop and help him push the carriage off the road and safety, but they weren't going his way. And how would you give somebody a lift on a bike if you haven't got any kit? So I said, you know, I'll go and get one of your neighbours to give you a hand. So off I bimble to where he lives. I'm going to cut that bit out and uh, knock on a couple of doors. Nobody's in. Uh, somebody's got a ring doorbell. They say they're an hour away. So I think, oh, I better go back and let him know. I I'd spoken to his wife and I think, I better go back and let him know that I can't do anything, but I'll try and help him out. So off I go on the way back up to the A444, and despite all the cars passing, the only other people to stop are a couple of people on bikes who are gonna be able to help him out. What's wrong with this picture? Is everybody going down that road on the way to hospital, on the way to the airport, on the way to the station, on an urgent trip, or got a full car? I doubt it very much, but people have left this guy stranded. What happens if he didn't stand a chance of walking back home. Uh, he was stuck there. No, it's not his fault, he's had a breakdown, but nobody wanted to help out. If you were on that bit of road and you saw this going on and didn't help, just leave the country. This isn't what British people should be like. We should be helping each other out. You see somebody stuck, you offer them a hand. They might not need it. And it says a lot that the only people to stop were people on bikes. To be honest, uh, I, I despair. You know, we're, we've just had uh, near 700,000 people come into the country last year, so I think we should get 700,000 people who wouldn't let it stop in this circumstance and kick them out to even up the numbers. If you can't stop and help for some reason, fair enough. But if you can and you don't, have a good long look at yourself and think, would you want somebody to stop in these circumstances? I bet you would, but you're not prepared to help anybody else. Anyway, rant over. Hopefully there'll be some more cheerful videos in future. This really gets on my nerves, as you can tell.